Hi, I'm a SaaS programmer with more than seven years of experience. I would like to share my knowledge and also I would like to give various solutions to the problems. In the part of that series, this is the first video I am making. In this video, I will be talking about how to assign row numbers in SAS versus database and what are the challenges and what's going to be discussed in these slides. How row numbers are assigned in SAS and how are they assigned in Postgres? When it is easy to emulate SAS row number logic in Postgres and when it is really tough. This issue is especially very important when there are duplicate values on the variables on which sorting and row number assignment is done. On this, the various examples will be given and will be explained in much more detail. This is very important point for anyone who is trying to do code conversion projects like moving SAS code to explicit SQL pass through or vice versa. Now let us quickly look into uh, creating a SAS data set without duplicates. Here I have a SAS data set wherein I have columns like ID, age, column 1, column 2, column 3 and I am going to do sorting on ID and age and as you can see from the previous slide there are no duplicates in the in age and assigning row numbers is fairly simple first what we do is we do proc sort on id and age One, once proc sort is done what we can do is we can use first dot id logic and we can say if there is a first dot id then row number equal to 1 else row num plus 1 run Now let us look into Postgres, how the same table can be created, what was created earlier in SAS. It's very simple. This is done by using create table statement followed by multiple insert statements. We are going to insert exactly the same data what we have inserted earlier in SAS. Once the insert is done, we need to use row number function row underscore number function followed by partition and order by clauses to get the same results what we have got in SAS. So to put it up in simple words we are going to use a row number OLAP function and we are going to partition the data by ID at the same time we are ordering by ID and age. So once we tell that we are partitioning by ID, all the ordering will be done as per ID and age. Now let us quickly look into the SAS data, how the table has been created and how everything has been performed. So we have the same data which I have shown in earlier slides and we are using the proc sort followed by first dot ID and row num and then we are trying to add up the numbers and let's run this code. Once we run the code we see that the row numbers are assigned as per id and age. In this case when id is 1 and age is equal to 29 we get the row number as 1. When the id is 1 and the age is 32 and 1 39, 3, 1, 40, 4. So row numbers are exactly as we want. Let's quickly look into the Postgres code too. We are using the same code of the Postgres and then we are going to do our row number function followed by partition ID, partition by ID and order by ID clause. And if we run the same code, we will get 
exactly similar results what we have got followed by the if the id is 1 and age is 29 we are going to get the row number 1 in the similar fashion as the age increases the row number increases let's quickly compare these results if we compare these results they exactly look the similar so when we are comparing these outputs where are where there is no duplicates on sorting rows everything looks perfect let's get into something more interesting by adding duplicates in the sorting columns here we are creating a sas data set with duplicates in this data set we are having two rows which are duplicated at id and age level which are highlighted here once we have done this and we do our proc sort and we do exactly same thing what we have done again similar fashion we are going to do in the postgres table inserting the data and inserting the rows wherein the duplicates are similar fashion with what we have done in the sas and again our select star with the row number to give the row numbers and then if you look this code in this code in sas and again in postgres let's see what are the differences so here i have the data where there are duplicated values at id and age level and then i run it I got error because I was just selecting a part of it. Now let's try to run it again everything. Once I run here again, when ID is 1, age is 29 and 29, I get 1 and 2. For 30, I get 3 and 4. Even though these are very similar, if you see the other columns, these are very different so let's see whether we get the same results with the same rows in postgres let's get back to postgres in the postgres here is the data where i am again taking duplicates and then we are running this code let's quickly run this code and if you see the rows are not exactly same even though numbering has some some similarity to understand it's better let me copy paste this value on on a powerpoint and then try to understand this better in the sas output and post postgres output comparison here we can see that row numbers are assigned in a such a fashion that they give the lowest number to age 29 when compared to 30 but the results are not exactly same to understand this better what i have done is color coded the values especially if you see column 1 2 and 3 along with age in the first scenario where the row number is 1 the column 1 2 and 3 the row number is 1 for exactly similar thing here if you see the row number is 2 in the same fashion when the id is 1 age is 29 column 1 2 3 has value of 1 the row number in case of sas is 2 whereas in the case of postgres is 1 this is often the challenging part it is very difficult to emulate SAS output and Postgres output or rather any DBMS output when we have duplicates on columns which they are sorted. So whenever we are trying to do a code conversion project, it we have to always remember this part. Why this is important? 
is in case if you want to do a WHERE clause. And if you do a WHERE clause where the row number equal is equal to 1, then you will have a different result in case of SAS when compared to Postgres. This is something very difficult to fix and it depends upon how data is inserted in, into Postgres and many other conditions. Let me conclude this topic. Row numbers in SAS are created by using first dot and last dot variables. Whereas in the case of Postgres, they are done using row underscore number. Row numbers in SAS and Postgres are same when there are no duplicates on which sorting is done. Row numbers will be different whenever there are duplicate values from SAS to Postgres or SAS to any DBMS. Extra care need to be taken whenever row number assignment is done when there are duplicate values on the variables on which sorting is done. This concludes the first topic in my SAS programming series. Thank you.